Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard, Cisneros, at your service. Today I will be reading the June 6 Facebook post and making a few comments on it, and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. Here we go. Your eternal truth is within you now. Today let us remember that enlightenment is not a change into something more or better, but a simple recognition of an alignment with our eternal essence. Our light is in us forever now. Being changeless, it is timeless. And thus, let us no longer fantasize about finding it in the future or being deceived into believing that we have lost it to the past. Today, no clouds will make us forget that the sun still and always shines. Today, let us be the race of hope that our brothers and sisters have been longing for. Today, let us offer hope to those who have been programmed by the ego to believe that they or their situations are hopeless. Today, when the ego demands judgment, let us instead align with our eternal essence, the love that created us, and offer this love through compassion, forgiveness, and gratitude to those who are helping us recall and practice aligning with the eternal truth within. Our eternal truth is that we are love and only love. Our creator is love and we are his, hers, its creation. And therefore we are only love. Love has many expressions such as kindness, peace, compassion, forgiveness, joy. But in this world of duality we have been programmed to believe that we are something other than, than that, other than love. We have been programmed to believe by the ego that we are anger, resentment, jealousy, resent, sorry, revenge, chaos, confusion, stress, anxiety. But love, being all, can have no opposite. And so these things that I just talked about, anger, resentment, jealousy, they are just blocks to the awareness of our light, of this light that we have within of our enlightened state. And so today we're going to use or take five steps towards consciously aligning ourselves with this light, with our eternal essence. First, no matter what, we're going to trust God. We're going to value trusting God more than the ego. So for everything that happens to us, we're going to place our trust in God more than the, in the ego's plan. And when we trust God, we're simply aligning with the love that we are. Second, everywhere we go today, we're going to trust that we're being sent there by God himself for us to remember and share who in truth we are. For us to share this love, this forgiveness, this joy, this compassion, and or to release these blocks that are blocking our awareness of our true nature, to release anger, to release judgment, to release condemnation and revenge and resentment. And so everywhere we go, we're there because God has sent us. Three, everything that happens to us today, we're going to trust that it is a blessing. I'll give you a small example. Today, I was in the, uh, in the farmer's market, and I guess I parked somewhere where I shouldn't have parked, and I got my wheels booted. You know, they put like a little lock on the boots, on, on, the, on the wheels. Thankfully, <laughs> I was following my own lesson and I chose to trust God and I chose to value in his plan more than in my ego's plan. And so I chose to see that as a blessing. I made the conscious choice to see my car being booted as a, as a gift, as a blessing. 
Why? Because we have free will. We can either buy into the ego's ideas, into anger, resentment, <laughs> thoughts of revenge. And we have all tried that. And it has gotten us nowhere we truly want to be. And so today, because we're trusting God, we're seeing every moment as a blessing. And so I chose to see that a moment as a blessing. And so I received peace because of that. I simply called the boot company, the tow company, got them to go back there, paid them my fine, got the boots taken away from my wheels, and I was on my merry way. I treated the individual nicely, and then I was on my way. And I received peace because I chose to express the love that in truth I am. Because I chose to release whatever blocks the ego would have me choose. I chose not, I chose not to do that. I chose to express my love. Fourth, let us trust that God's source is putting every single individual in our path today that is going to help us remember and align with our true essence. And so in this case, I chose to see this individual, this total truck driver, as a gift. And yes, my ego might have wanted something else. <laughs> my ego might have not have been too pleased. But I've already played with the ego long enough. I already know what the ego's gifts are. Gifts are. And so I let that go. And I chose to see my brother as my brother. As God's creation. And because we're all one, when I saw him as God's creation, I remembered that I was God's creation. And so you see every individual who we're meeting today, even tow truck drivers, <laughs> they are gifts to us. Because we're all one. And they are a blessing to us and we can be a blessing to them through free will. We can choose to align with their true nature and become a blessing to them. And five, remembering that we are trusting God, let us offer gratitude to God. Let us offer gratitude to everything, to everyone, to everywhere and all. Because when we're offering gratitude for everyone and all, and for everything, we are simply saying to God's source that we are trusting you. Because if your response to everything and everyone is gratitude, you're telling God that I trust in your plan for my life. Because deep down inside, I know that my highest self and God's plan for me are one. And when I trust this, I receive a state of peace. Because I'm aligning with my true essence, with the light that I'm truth I am. And when I'm aligning with this light, I understand that I am only love. And that my, my, my brothers or sisters are only love. And that every situation out there is occurring for my benefit. For me to align with this love. Or for me to release the ego's blocks. And so I offer with a trust, gratitude, and I receive peace. And that is our eternal natural state that is our enlightened state the state of love the state of peace that is our true home that is what we can bring into this world of duality that is what we can share with our brothers and sisters to help them remind them of their own light and so let us do that today let us take those five steps those five conscious steps. Let us use free will to align with the love that in truth we all are. Thank you very much for your time. I love you very much. If you'd be so kind as to like, comment, or share the YouTube video, 
it would assist with the listing process and it might help somebody find this information who can use it someday. If you'd like to leave me a comment or a question, I would be delighted to try and offer a response. And then if you can please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I would love to have you in those communities. Again, thank you for your time. I love you very much. And God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.